Hey everyone, uh, I'm Nate Lambert with Red River and today we're going to take a look at a way you can find out the wireless password for your local home network uh, in the event that you've lost it or someone doesn't know what it is. Um, so we're going to take a look at that today. All right, so today we're just going to take a look at how on a Windows 10 workstation you can find out the password to your wireless network. Um, obviously, most of us are pretty accustomed to knowing what their wireless network is at home, um, but there are a couple scenarios that this might come into play. One would be uh, most of your devices remember your home password at this point. So let's say you've had the same network for a long time um, and you're not entirely sure what the password is anymore. Someone comes over is asking for it and you're having issues getting it. Um, Maybe a situation where you can actually use your Windows 10 workstation uh, to provide you with the password for a network that you're already authenticated to. Um, we're going to talk about authentication in another video down the line, but uh, just assume any network you've connected to successfully and you're on the internet, uh, this little process will work to figure that out. Um, this can also be helpful for if you're traveling um, in a hotel or an Airbnb and you're trying to find out the password for a network, it's some long string of characters and it's, it's challenging to remember, or it's written down in like a book somewhere that you don't have access to, uh, you can actually use your laptop to figure this out. Uh, so what we're going to do to start uh, for your Windows 10 machine is just go down to the launch bar on the bottom left uh, and you can just type in uh, network connections here. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, you can use the Windows 10 search bar for basically all your queries and anything you want to look up on the machine. Uh, it's a really good habit to get into is just if you know you're going somewhere and you know the name of a screen, but you're not sure how to navigate to it. Um, the search engine is enabled right in the operating system, so you can just click network connections uh, and it'll pull it right up. Um, so for here, I, I see which one I want to go to. That's the correct thing for this uh, this process. So we'll just click view network connections and, and a screen will pop up. Uh, now, a couple of quick notes here. Uh, most laptops and workstations nowadays have a lot of different connections, right? So you might have an Ethernet port, you might have multiple Ethernet ports, uh, different wireless adapters, Bluetooth, as you can see here. Um, what we're going to look for here is to find the wireless network adapter that you're using. Um, now, a couple ways to figure that are typically it's just called Wi-Fi in your wireless 10 um, operating system. So that's a pretty good indication. The other way would be to confirm which wireless network you're connected to. Uh, so in this instance, this is the network that I'm on right now. Um, I know that that's my home network, um, so this is the right adapter. This is what I'm looking for. If you're having issues identifying which one of these is your wireless adapter, you can always come down uh, to the bottom right and it'll tell you which um, network you're connected to here and then, then you can cross reference between the two and make sure you've got the right adapter. Once I've identified uh, which adapter I'm looking for here, I want to highlight it uh, with the checkbox and then at the top there's a couple options up here, right? So uh, disable, diagnose, a few different things. What we're going to want to click on here is the view the status of this connection. Um, at which point in time you're going to see this Wi-Fi status bar pop up um, you might see some information in here that isn't totally applicable to you or relevant, right? The time you've been connected, speed, signal quality. Um, we're going to do a, another series down the line about um, wireless network types and, and how to know you're secure. But for this video, we're just trying to find the password. Um, so to do that, what we're going to do is select wireless properties here in the middle. Uh, and then when you come in here, there are again some more options that are uh, applicable to maybe some other topics. But uh, for the purposes of this video, we want to select security on the second tab. <clears throat> and you're going to see both uh, security type and encryption type, which you're going to pop up. Those are pre-populated fields that get determined um, by your laptop and the wireless network you're on. But that third field is network security key. That's what we're looking for here. Um, you'll hear the term key and password used interchangeably uh, for workstations. You know, most people call it a password or a passcode, um, but a wireless network key or security key is also the same thing. That's just the password you use to gain access to a wireless network, uh, something that everyone's more or less pretty familiar with at this point, given how much we're using wireless. So uh, in this instance, what you want to do is show characters, right? So it's password protected, but I also now I'm getting this sort of dotted encryption or cover all they call, uh, which means that I can't see it in plain text and that's a security feature. Uh, but we do have the ability in Windows 10 to select show characters. Um, you are going to notice this small shield to the left. What that means is that I'm going to need a password potentially uh, to, to find this information, or I'm going to need to be the administrator on my workstation. So for most of you, um, if it's a personal machine, that's not a problem. You are the administrator of your personal machine. And for most others, if you're on using a work laptop um, like I am, uh, I have administrative access to my, to my computer. So um, click show characters. It's then going to ask me, do you really want to do that? Are you confirming as an administrator? It's making sure that I'm okay with those passwords being shared. 
Um, I'm not making any changes to passwords. All it's going to do is just take away that cover text and show me the actual characters underneath. I now see the password for my current network that I'm connected to. So for this network, this is the pre-shared key um, that is, is applicable for that network. So I would then be able to copy this out, um, share it with a, a friend or family member who needs to get access to the network, and then they would be able to authenticate. Um, as you can see, if you've been watching our other series, right, this is a relatively secure password, which is great, uh, but one that could be challenging to remember, right? We have a zero, um, an exclamation point, there's a few different characters. So there's a chance that you may just not be able to remember this password if it's your home network because you set it up securely because you were following the Red River videos. <laughs> but then when it time came to remember it or share it to a relative who's in town, uh, you can't totally remember what it is. So uh, now that I have that password, I can share that with anyone I need to. Um, once I'm done with that information, there really isn't anything you need to change um, at this point. Uh, one quick note, be careful not to adjust this because this is the password your laptop's using to connect to the network. Um, so don't delete this, but as long as you just review it, share it with a friend and then just click um, cancel, you can back right out of the screen uh, and then you're good to go. You have the password to your network. You can share it however you like. Um, as we discussed in previous video, make sure you're sharing that with only trusted people. Uh, we want to make sure that the password stays secure, but uh, by and large, now you have access to something you may have forgotten or been able to uh, unable to remember. And that's all the time we have for today. I really hope you learned something. Uh, be sure to like, rate, review, subscribe on our YouTube channel and check back soon for more security tips and tricks um, on how to use your Windows 10 workstation.